What's going on YouTube? Jermaine Francois here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the third part of my documenting the journey. This is a series, if you're new here, that basically just talk about my journey, basically, right? Talk about the wins, the losses, what's currently going on inside the agency in real life time, what's going on with trends, just basically what's going on throughout this whole space and what's kind of going on in my head and just kind of unraveling this and uh, hopefully like, you know, three, five years time, I'll, watch, I'll come back and watch this and it'll be a really cool thing to document, right? So document the journey. It's nothing scripted. It's nothing um, fancy with the, with the actual video editing itself. Literally just me behind a camera speaking to you guys and just recording everything that's going on inside the agency with a nice strawberry protein shake to keep my uh, macros hit. So I'm just gonna have a chat with you guys and uh, go through like the situations on my end and what's going on, basically, right? So sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button, a lot more open, transparent conversation with you guys um, about multiple different topics. So first thing first, let's go. So first thing first, big thing that's happened in the last month is the growth of the Only Astro Academy. Without doing any promotion for it, like I very, very, very rarely promote it. Every now and then I'll pop it in the videos. I've got links in our descriptions, but I, I don't even promote it. Don't run ads for it. Don't do any like funnels or anything for it. And it's just been growing at an incredible rate. I believe we're now at 35 members inside the academy. And um, this is all without a website, right? And it, it actually ties me onto a really great point. And that's the, it really applies when you're working with creators as well and when you're trying to sign creators, right? Is you do not need a fancy website. You do not need a fancy logo. You do not need a fancy branding and this and that. It helps, of course. But for an example, 36 members join the academy all from just like my free organic content and free value videos that I post out there. I don't do any ads. I don't, we don't, I don't have a VA that's reaching out messaging people. It's all literally just inbound, right? And you got to kind of look at that without kind of tooting anyone's horn, but you got to kind of look at that, right? It's just the value that I'm giving out to the market. People obviously seen that. If he gives this much for free, imagine what's included in the paid version, right? I think that's the angle that I see it at. And the same thing applies when you're looking at reaching out to OnlyFans models. You do not need a fancy website. You don't need fancy logos or Instagram profiles. You just need to provide a good amount of value. Inside the Academy, we have a strategic method that we use to like provide value to the creators. Um, the Loom video, as mentioned on another video, but that is a clear example of just giving immense free value to your creators. And that will just help you sign and get a lot more trust into those people to then convert into your customers or clients for you guys, right? Same thing applied in this Academy. We're now at 34, 35 members. That's all without a website. It's all without landing pages or anything like that. Yes, yeah, so we have built a landing page and for guys that are generally interested in joining the Academy, Currently priced at $200. I've built the landing page. In the next two, three days, I'm going to increase the price. As I've been mentioning on my Instagram, right? The price increase is going to go to $379. To be honest, that is still very, very cheap compared to everything else out there in the market. You got one out there for $100. You've got a couple out there for like five, six, seven hundred dollars And there's a couple out there for a couple of couple thousand dollars, right? Um, compared to what's out in the market, I wanted to make it accessible to most people and I wanted to make sure that it was at a fair pricing point due to like the last five, six months worth of work I've put into that academy, right? But yeah, $200 right now, next two, three days, it's gonna increase to $379. But um, yeah, it's grown really well. I'm incredible to see the results that's coming from there. It's incredible to see the community that's been built from there. Um, and everything is just growing really, really well in that retrospect. So really, really happy to put you and it's bought a, another source of income to, to me also, um, which is very, very small compared to like the agencies, but it's always nice to have at the end of the day, right? Just for helping people, um, which is again, an awesome, awesome feeling. But yeah, growth of Only Astro Academy has grown really well over the last few weeks. Um, it's all done without like any self-promotion. It's just all naturally organic. You can use that strategy and use that, you can use that to transcend into your actual outreach with your creators. If you're generally providing value, they will come to you at the end of the day, right? Cool, so next point is the Twitter situation. This hasn't happened in the last month. This happened in the last like day or so, maybe 24 hours, 48 hours at the time of recording this on Monday the 19th of December. Twitter situation, Elon Musk and his mandem decided to throw a bit of a curveball at everyone that used links on Twitter. Now, to be honest with you, it hasn't affected us in one way, one shape or form, hasn't affected us. It's affected a lot more the creators that are put in Linktree. So guys that don't know the situation right now, Twitter changed its regulations that to basically stop people promoting other platforms on Twitter itself. So they include like websites, links, etc. 
But to be honest with you, like our creators, we still have, we just have the direct tracking link to our, to the OnlyFans uh, profile itself. We don't have link trees or anything like that in the Twitter profiles. And we just haven't touched anything, to be honest with you. We haven't changed the links. We haven't changed any bios. We've kept it the same and we've not got banned. We've not got restricted. The Twitter profiles are still converting traffic into subs. So it's all happy days, but I've seen a lot of people out there panicking and um, I don't think there really is a need to panic. I think there'll be a lot of backlash to this. And I think Elon and his wizards of elves over there at fucking Twitter are gonna actually just kind of strip it back, right? Put a proper screenshot here. I already saw him having a conversation with someone that was really, um, really, really against what, he's, what, they, what they're recommending and they said they're gonna look into it. So I generally feel there's gonna be a lot of backlash behind it and it's just gonna go back to normal. But as it stands right now with the Twitter situation, we are still firing on, on all Twitter cylinders, still using the Twitter bot at the agency. It's doing really well, um, and it's not really affected any results. None of our accounts have got banned. None of our accounts have got restricted, and they all are still churning a great amount of traffic per day. But the big, the biggest thing is, is on your on your Twitter, take away the link trees, take away the like the VIP links, etc. Just have the tracking link directly from OnlyFans itself, and you should be absolutely fine on the Twitter front. Next kind of point, um, we found and we are using a growth uh, Instagram bot and Instagram has been really great for us over the last kind of two, three weeks since we've been using it. Maybe two, three weeks to a month since we've been using it. The Twitter bot has been doing really, really well for us to be honest with you. Um, it basically has a whole bunch of engagement that it does on like the fans or the followers of other creators out there in the market. I can target any creator what in the world. Right now we're targeting the US. In the Australian market, so there's more people active on my chatters, uh, for my chatters through the night, um, and we're just targeting the people that follow those creators, and we eventually we turn that we will then eventually turn that traffic into subs, right? Um, as you can see here, yesterday we had an incredible day for one of our creators, and this was all from like Australian-based uh, subscribers, right? Because we're just targeting Australian creators as a region on the specific bot itself. And it's doing really well with uh, driving a great amount of traffic. As you can see, yesterday, we, I think we brought like 10, 10 to 11 new subs just yesterday alone. Um, and that was purely from the Instagram bot. How do we know that? Through the tracking links that we use. So, be doing really, really well for us. Um, and everyone inside the academy has access to the Twitter, to the Instagram bot as well. Twitter bot is doing really well. Um, the Twitter bot isn't as powerful as the Instagram bot, to be honest with you. The Instagram is just converting like crazy for us. Twitter does drive a great amount of traffic. We do see about five to eight subs per day on Twitter. If we have a sale, even more on the account. Um, but most of my uh, craze right now are priced at around seven to nine ninety nine dollars per month. Um, yeah, Twitter bot combined with the Instagram bot have been doing really, really well for us. And the great thing about it is, if you ever heard of the mother slave method, it's very similar to that, but all in automation, all within Instagram's rules. So it does take a lot of time from my hands and like anyone's hands that's using the bots, right? So it's a good little hack to use. Um, and it is obviously charged, like we do pay a monthly subscription for it. Um, but it's a great little hack to use to basically just get your hands off that, off that side of the, the softwares. Um, to get your hands off that side of the strategy and just to let a great amount of organic traffic, targeted organic traffic, come through to the Instagram profiles and the Twitter profiles that we're targeting on the bot itself. So it's really, really clutch to be honest with you. So yeah, been doing really well on that front. It's been driving us a good amount of subscribers per day on the accounts. In terms of OnlyFans recently, I don't know what's going on to be honest with you. They have been mocking it with the... Um, They've been mocking it with like the errors that's going on the software itself. A lot of the errors on the software itself keep showing us like network error, keeps showing us like mass messages cannot send. It's an absolute nightmare and it has affected quite a lot of our PPV results because we notice and some of my chatters have said that a lot of a lot of like uh, customers are not actually seeing any messages or not seeing any content which is obviously super, super frustrating. And it did cost us quite a bit of sales in the last week, but here's what it is. We're on their platform where we're playing in their environment. We just got to play to their rules. It has picked up over the last two days. Chatter's results have increased. PPV results have increased, which is great. Thank God, because we're coming up to Christmas. Really great time to be selling content. But um, yeah, for the last week, the platform OF has been incredibly, incredibly annoying. Um, there's not much that we can do, to be honest with you. We can only just 
try our best to keep making sure the fans are engaged and the fans are continuously like making purchases but very hard if they're not seeing it right but that also happened in the last day which did affect agency revenue as well to be honest with you guys like our agency revenue dropped in the last week um and that's just due to the ppv side of things with the with the errors that we kept receiving in the uh, platform itself. And it's not just us, like I speak to a whole bunch of other agencies, I speak to a whole bunch of other creators I know on my network, they're all experiencing the same problem. So it's just OF as a platform, we're going through a whole bunch of bugs and glitches and shit. They always do it too many of you, but not great at this time of the year. In regards to TikToks, we finally have cracked TikTok. We've cracked how to stop getting shadow banned. We've finally cracked how to get like videos viral. In a nutshell, we've basically found a bunch of creators that are going viral on TikTok and I just use that, add it into a list, a Google Sheet, and I just send it to my creators and my creators will just watch them like a hawk. These, my creators will watch these TikTokers like a hawk. Like a hawk. Anything over like 100K to 200K views, my creators will copy that, um, copy that TikTok, copy that sound and make their own spin, their own version on it. And it does really well for us. Like we've been hitting some great numbers from TikTok as like viral videos, as one would say. Um, and if you're doing really well, so as a matter of a fact, I'm actually going to do you guys one. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of sauce here. Like this video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel and drop me a message on Instagram. Instagram link is just below Jermaine Francois. Um, comment, just drop me a DM saying done and I'll send you the viral TikTok creators that we use at the agency that I send to my creators to help them get viral. There's like a list of 10 um, creators out there. They all do OF and um, we basically just copy their copy the TikToks that they post and get my creators to go ahead and recreate that. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, drop me a message on Instagram, comment, DM, and I will go ahead and send you the link to the Google sheet on the creators that we're kind of following or spying, if you like, to help my models get more viral on TikTok. And it's actually been working really well for us. Every time we post like a TikTok that gets over like 10, 15K views, we get like, you know, two to three subs on that. Um, and when we go live, even more. TikTok Lives is an absolute hack for OF. I cannot incentivize enough. If you have a creator, you need to get them to a thousand, okay, followers, and then you need to get them on TikTok Live three to five times a week. That is a gold mine for subscribers. That is a hack for you guys out there, right? Go ahead, get them, scale them as much as you can to a thousand, and then bang, once you get to a thousand, everything will just propel from there, especially when they do jump on the lives. Does absolute wonders. But overall, guys, to kind of summarize the month of December so far, we are like, what, 20 days in, um, but the month of December so far has been just a really kind of easy month, to be honest with you. Um, revenue figures are looking great for the agency. I've not really had to work so much this month. Like everything has, everything that I've built has really just kind of like compounded. And like the, the SOPs I've built with my chatters have been working really well. The scripts I've worked with my chatters are like in full effect right now. Um, the bots are doing really well on like the subscriber front, on the, on the subscriber front, helping us get new subscribers. I'm also testing out Snapchat bots. I'm also testing out a few other platforms for our creators to help them get more views, more traffic, more eyeballs. Uh, but everything is just going down nicely. Every month we, each of our creators, we basically would just withdraw or do a payout twice a month. So I'm getting paid between five creators 10 times a month. Is that the right mass? Two times per creator, yeah, shit. We're getting paid 10 times a month from each creator and each of our creators are in the top. We've got like a couple in the top 1%. We've got two in the top, we've got two in the top 1%, one's 1 1.5, one 1.9. We've got one in the top 2.1% and then we've got one in the 2.8%. And then all of, our, all of our creators are in the top 2%. So they're making great amount of revenues per month for the account. So we're getting paid 10 times a month as an agency, two times each creator per month. I'm pretty sure that's the mass. If that's not the mass, my head is absolutely frazzled. But yeah, give or take 10 times a month, we're getting like withdrawals from the accounts into our agency business account. So things are looking great. Things are looking healthy. Close out all the new applications just to help these, just so I can focus on scaling these five creators to 20K per month at least each. And then I will look at opening up new positions at the agency to bring on new models. I think every week I get a new create a new model, DM us, ask it to work with us since I've done all this YouTube, social brand, etc. It does really attract models as well. So 
it's one thing I'd recommend to you guys. I see a lot of guys out there, especially guys that DM on Instagram, they'll DM me with a, no profile picture, no post, like 100 followers, and ask me why they're not getting any responses by Instagram outreach to sign models. Like, come on. Would you trust someone that reaches out to you with no profile picture, no post, no engagement, nothing on their Instagram profile? Would you trust them to run your account? You wouldn't, right? That's why you're not seeing much success. So guys that are reaching out to me on Instagram, no profile picture, no nothing. No wonder why you're not seeing results, right? You need to brand yourself. You need to actually position yourself as a human, not just a little boy or a little girl behind a screen um, trying to have a business that's not, try to build a business that's a service-based business for starters, services in servicing people, um, and you're not having any like branding or just even a face behind a name. Of course, right? And just making it easy for the rest of us out here. The rest of us that have actual branding, you're just doing us a favor. So do yourself a favor, guys. If you actually are serious and you are looking to scale an agency, make sure you get your branding on point in terms of like your actual Instagram, have a face to a name. You don't have to have 10K followers. You can have 500 followers, but your Instagram content's really great. You engage with your content, you engage with your followers, you engage on stories, you have highlights, you have all of that. Of course, these models, are they're not... They're not crazy um, specific, but they're gonna do a bit of research on you if you're gonna be managing all their content, right? Like just, it's just common sense. So make sure your brand's on point, right? Um, and because of that, we do get a lot of inquiries and I just give them to the students at the academy to see. I don't even charge them. Um, because I'm obviously very keen to see these guys win. But yeah, inbound models have been, I think I've had like three, four this month in December so far, giving them all to my academy students. They've all signed them. Um, and they've all signed them and signed them on to the to their to their agency. So, which, so that's super cool to see. But here, guys, document the journey series. Had a bit of a ramble about TikTok. Had a bit of a ramble about the bots that we're using, about the Twitter situation, the growth of the web, growth of the Only Astro Academy, um, and the viral OnlyFans errors that we're facing right now. But it seems to be fine over the last few days. So happy days. So yeah, quick disclaimer to anyone that is interested in, in joining the the program, the academy, the course, whatever you want to call it. It's currently priced at $200, very, very cheap for what it is, to be honest with you. Um, I did it that cheap, because I don't even have a website, I just wanted to see what the market would react. Everyone's reacting really great, so I've gone ahead and put in more volume of um, modules in there, more quality modules, and I've now launched, um, or about to launch a website with landing page, um, info product, video, etc. right? So, that is gonna be in the link in the description. $200 right now, in the next few days, it's gonna increase to $379. If you are interested, click the link, join the Academy, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the Telegram group. But yeah, guys, it's documented the journey. Again, it's been a really great month. Agency revenue is scaling really high. Clients are scaling really well. Stagnant for the last month, last week. But besides that, in December, everyone is growing really, really nicely. And we should see our first few creators in the top 0%. So that's really, really exciting. So yeah, guys, peace out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Documented the journey series. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.